Yeah, buddy. I got two of my five windows deleted yesterday. I had an ambitious goal of five, apparently. I'll tell you what, it took me probably two hours to do the first uh, window bend, and then I would guess maybe 30 minutes to do the second. I'm gonna shoot for five again today. We'll see what happens. No, I'm gonna shoot for five today. Ambitious, I know. I do need to take a run and buy one more piece of sheet metal. Uh, today's Wednesday, tomorrow's Thanksgiving, and the sheet metal shop will be closed surely for Thanksgiving and probably Friday as well. And I'd like to have all of the windows done by the weekend. Right now I've got the floor plan drawn out. And forgive me if I've already shared this story. My wife says I tell the same story over and over again. But so I've got two of the windows deleted. Any window that has blue on it, a little bit of blue tape, is gonna be deleted. So I have remaining one, two, three, four, five, six, seven windows. So that's seven windows, two completed. So that's nine windows in total. Our couch would be by the entranceway. Uh, we have some sort of tabletop countertop there. Uh, our kitchen counter is here. That square represents maybe the sink. You know, it's all just kind of estimate. The kids' bunk beds would be over the uh, driver's side wheel well. We got a storage unit just above the passenger side wheel well. And then from the start of the wheel well to that blue line would be the toilet. So we'll delete out that window. We'll keep the emergency window there. That'll give some ventilation if we want to open up the bathroom windows. And then we've got a shower towards the back. And our bedroom is right now where the construction table is. I've got two ceiling fans to put in, so I need to figure out where we're gonna do it. Probably here next to the, the emergency hatch, and then which would be in the kitchen area, and then one towards the back, which is the bedroom area. All construction work, every job that I plan out seems to take a lot longer than I anticipate. I think something's gonna take me, you know, an hour and it takes me four. It might be overly ambitious to think that I'm gonna get anything done this <laughs> through the holidays, but we're gonna give it a go. It's 10 to the 10 to the 10, 10, 10. That's for you, Carl. So it's 10 to 10. Let's see how long one window takes and use that as a benchmark. But off to the metal shop we go. What was that? Nothing. I said make me a sandwich. But actually, do you want sandwich? Yes, please. <laughs> Boom. I need to go and get the angle grinder. It's the cutoff wheel to score this edge uh, because sheet metal's a bit too thick to bend easily. So. My life been struggling since I was three. My friends look out for me like family. to remove the window and and the metal. So now I gotta install it. So that's probably gonna take me another 30 minutes. So an hour and a half roughly. Uh, so it's gonna be a seven hour day in order to get seven windows done. Seven hour day to get five windows done. But it might actually be possible to get it done. So uh, let's see how it goes. Timber the way it is right but the construction area is just freaking uh, you can't expect everything to go perfectly I guess and that not accounting for that's gonna take time as well this one corner is off by 
millimeter. It's a little bit too tight to begin with because honestly I need to get that needle tape in there. Um, and on, on both sides. So I don't know how I'm gonna deal with this. Might be back on a, on a two window day <laughs> if I'm lucky. So in this scenario, I don't actually think that my cut was the wrong size. I think the cut was right. I think the window size is just slightly different. They're all about the same size, but, but when you're dealing in millimeters, uh, there's gonna be some variance. I found this, which the seller of um, the house, the people we bought the house from, I think it's a metal bender. In any case, it's heavy as the day is long. So I'm gonna try and put the corners on this and hammer out to the sheet metal. I don't know how much of a difference that made. It looked like it made a big difference. Okay, it looked like it made a difference. All right, so. Wow, look at that, really bent. <laughs> Just bent it from falling down. But that's okay, because it fits uh, and it's gonna get screwed in, so who cares. I need to hammer that top piece down just a bit. And then, and then because I need an eighth of an inch on either side, for the butyl tape, it, it won't be right on the outside edge, but if, if I can bend this a little greater than 90 on both sides, I should be able to get tape. Dropping it bent it a lot. Maybe I should just throw the piece of aluminum around. Maybe that'll solve my issues. Right, dude, dudes, dudettes, fingers crossed. This is going to work. Ha. Yeah, buddy. And I hope from the outside. Get it. Who knows what he's doing? This guy. Yeah, baby. Two hours, two hours and five minutes. I got three of nine. Uh, and I'm very rewarded, very rewarded. So we ordered our unique refrigerator. We bought a 12 volt fridge and a propane stove from Goddickers, 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 I don't know how you say it. Anyway, there's a delay on the delivery. Uh, we can't access our online account, so I got to call customer service. And I thought it might be fun for you to see what I'm listening to. Thank you for calling Gattaker. Your expected wait time is approximately 116 minutes. Oh, that's way better, 116 minutes. The last call, which is why I recorded this, asked me to wait 1,739 minutes. That's 29 hours. So we decided that we would uh, place a request for a callback, which we did actually yesterday and they didn't call us back. 100 minutes is better. I still hung up. I've requested a callback. We'll see what happens. If we start